am here with Destiny Rogers. How are you doing, Destiny? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Good, good. Hey, Destiny, um, tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, how long you've been fighting and uh, what gym you train out of? Okay, so um, I got back into training about two years ago for health purposes and uh, decided I had the opportunity to compete on a Muay Thai tournament. I said, well, why not do it? Um, and that was two years ago. I train out of two different gyms. I train out of SIA in Plano and I also train out of Superior Striking Gym in Waco, Texas. We're familiar with that gym. Uh, Ed Mikan is from out there. Yes. And we've covered him. What's it like training out there with him? It's wonderful. It's a great experience. I really wanted the opportunity to train with the Brazilian lifestyle and Brazilian fighters. And that's what I've desired and that's what I, I got. And it's been the best experience ever in my life and my fight career. Speaking of opportunity, uh, you get the phone call. You're going to be on XKL Texas Live here um, Friday night. Uh, what was that? What was that like getting that phone call? Oh, that was pretty exciting. Uh, the, the whole vibration in my house kind of went up. Uh, my dogs even responded too, and they were pretty stimulated and barking after that phone call. It was great, but it was like a it was like a bunch of butterflies going off. It was great, not a nervousness, but of excitement. Have you been out to the venue yet? Not yet, but I hear yeah, it's, it's wonderful. It's huge. Um, it's going to be an awesome night. Your opponent, I believe, is uh, Candice Rodriguez. Do you know anything about her? Um, how do you think you would match up against her? I think this is going to be a great matchup. Um, I definitely know that I have, a, I'm the full package. Uh, I have striking, I have jujitsu, I have wrestling, I have Muay Thai. It's going to be a great matchup. Uh, I believe she's just jujitsu, and that's okay. And how would you describe um, describe your uh, fighting style? Definitely freestyle. I started out boxing, began with Muay Thai, and I picked up jujitsu along the way somewhere in there, and it's definitely a freestyle fighter. So when you're not training, uh, you know, getting ready for a fight, what do you like to do to unwind? I mean, what do you do to relax oh, when you free time? In my free time, I enjoy time with my family. I have three wonderful kids, four actually, three, um, that are here. With, uh, on earth uh, and I love my animals and so I get to spend time in church and with my family and with my animals and puts me in my my fun place. And how do you um, balance being a fighting mom? I mean you've got to come home, <laughs> train, cook, you got your kids. How do you balance that? It's got to be tough. Definitely. It's definitely a, a it's a challenge, but with God, all things is possible. This is um, a journey that God put me on uh, to share my personal story of, of, of life and how life, uh, the hand of life that I got to walk on and experience and break some bondage off. And uh, what do your kids uh, think of you fighting? They're, it's, it excites them. My oldest one is definitely um, right there with me almost on an everyday basis in the gym. Um, my two younger ones, they're a little bit more nervous. Uh, they, they don't know what to expect. Uh, they just know mom's going to come out and dominate every time. They see what I've overcome in life and they know nothing less but mom's an overcomer and mom's dominant in anything that comes her way. That's awesome. I mean, uh, being a great role model, not just for them, but for uh, young women you know, that want to do MMA. Uh, I bet they don't mess with you during a uh, <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, they tend to really kind of chill back and and know that it's time for mom to really tunnel in uh, my vision and in and sights and really they they understand uh, the different things that come into fight week. That's awesome, Justin. And um, what do you get your inspiration to fight? Like, who do you fight for? Who do I fight for? Yes. Who do I fight for? I fight for myself and to show my kids what it's um, to keep pressing forward no matter what gets put what situation you're in you keep pressing forward and I also uh, love to inspire others through that and share a message of hope and recovery and uh, what kind of advice would you give to uh, a young lady uh, that's coming up that's you know that wants to pursue this as a career Definitely be prepared for dedication and hard work and don't give up and be persistent. There's going to be some days you feel like crud and there's going to be other days that can be pressing um, on you, but you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So rely on Christ fully through your journey. And that is that's an awesome story that you just shared with us. Uh, do you have any... Uh family, friends, or sponsors you want to thank? Any shout outs you want to give out? Oh, definitely. Uh, Summershine and uh, Sunshine Recovery House, Luna Juice, Theronia, David Gonzalez Insurance, Farmer's Agent out of Waco, SIA, Kathleen over at Superior, 
um, Jay Walker Apparel, which is a recovery brand clothing style. Um, let's see, there's Powerhouse Paddle Company and Powerhouse Vintage Clothing. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, God, too. God, thank you, God. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Can't forget him. Destiny, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. We cannot wait to see you Friday, October 4th here at Texas Live for XKO Friday Night Fights. Destiny, best of luck to you. Can't wait to see you. Thank you.